In this video, I'm gonna be doing some bird photography with my Nikon D850 and Z7 cameras. But this is so I can test out the new per gear 256 gigabyte CF Express Type B Pro card, which has just been released. So let's get out there amongst it, have some fun and see how this card performs in both stills and video. I'll be doing all the stills today with my Nikon D850 and the B-roll you'll see is with my Nikon Z7 in both 4K and HD slow-mo. Got a kookaburra over here who's being attacked by a couple of minor birds. He's got backlit sun coming through. This kookaburra is having a hell of a time with these two minor birds. I think I've got a shot where it was just uh, having a snap at them. They weren't minor birds, it was actually a, um, a butcher bird. Just got a kookaburra over here and they've got their nest. So I'm shooting at 1 3200th of a second. I'm at about 6.3 and I'm at ISO 1000. So if I just stay here long enough, then I got it. <laughs> There it goes. Okay, let's go after this kingfisher. It's in the sun. I'm gonna try and thread the needle here and go straight through these trees. Just shooting at about something like 500th of a second because kingfisher's just sitting there There were actually two kingfishers that I was giving chase to in this spot. I eventually caught this one shot that I was pretty happy with, and I know the old saying, blue and green should never be seen. Well, I think we can make an exception this time. Just after the kingfishers, I could hear the most amazing and beautiful bird song I've perhaps ever heard. I found this guy hiding amongst some of the branches on this tree. This is a Rufus Whistler and oh man, when he sings, well, just have a listen to this. At this time of year, we see a lot of spangled drongos in this area. I know, not the most flattering name for a bird, but they have a very unique looking dolphin-like tail. And I love those speckles of color amongst its black feathers. so much happening on this morning, I started to lose track of what I'd shot. I had so many shots in the end, I thought I'd just have to show a montage so this video doesn't run too long. Oh, and some of these shots aren't birds either, but hey, when I'm out in the field and I see something that catches my eye, then I always grab it.
So the thing with this per gear card, you can actually use it on a different variety of cameras. Interesting to note there are certain features on the Nikon Z9 you can only use if you go to the higher capacity or grade per gear CF Express B cards. Also, if you are using the 256 gigabyte card I'm using today on the Nikon D850, make sure you're running firmware version 1.20 or higher, or on the Z6 and Z7 cameras, 2.20 or higher. I'll finish off with this shot. Looking through some branches and leaves, I had this little keyhole view of this kookaburra sitting in the early morning sunlight. Using single point autofocus right on the kookaburra's eye, I fired off this frame, which in the end had a bit of a fairy tale like quality about it after post processing. Just before I go, I just want to say a special thank you to the team at Pergear for sending me out this 256 gigabyte CF Express Type B Pro card to test and review. It performed very well on both my cameras and when I was downloading all the stills and video to my Mac, it was pretty quick. Thanks very much for watching. It was actually awesome out there today. There was just so many bird species around. It was just crazy. Anyway, as I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.